Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Six months ago, I moved to a new barn and I have yet to do like a full tour of it, so I thought I would do that today. Personally, I think this barn is beautiful and I'm gonna show you guys around the place. We're gonna start this way though. I believe this is where they mainly keep the pasture morning horses. There's quite a few pastures. What I really love about this barn, I didn't even know they made these, okay? Everyone's gonna roll their eyes because they're probably gonna be like, this is old news, but I've never seen this. So you just lift it up and you can open the gate. <laughs> and then to shut the gate, you don't have to even touch it. You can just... It's like magic, okay? Everyone's laughing at me, but I've never seen that before. We're going to cross the road again and head back to the other pastures and the barn. All right, so here are the main gates when you drive in. If you're like last to leave, you close them, you know the drill. And then as you're coming in, you have this nice pasture with all these just beautiful horses. All right, so walking down from the gates, the first thing that catches your eye is this beautiful statue just in the middle. It's also roundabout, so you drive around it to get to the barn. Here is the barn itself. It's very pretty. I believe it's about 20 stalls and you have to count. There is also stalls like over, all over the property. So there's plenty of stalls here. First thing you see is just the office. That's where they schedule your lessons and stuff like that. They keep the horse files. Then as you walk out, obviously there's just the stalls, you know. All right, so in the stalls, you know, you can hang your like salt licks. They have the water buckets that hang up. And it's a pretty spacious stall. All right, heading down, we have our first tack room. This is where all of the lesson horses tack and everything else is kept. And here's just the saddle racks. We have some medicine and some pole wraps. And we keep our whips in this bucket. This was my whip and now it has a very sad just really the lesson horses halters, you can just come and grab one of these. This is my bridle. Your English saddle pads, you can really just grab any one you want. I'm not entirely sure if any of these are borders. Don't ask me, I hope I don't ruin any of their saddle pads though. And then on this side you have your western saddle pads and then some lesson helmets. This is the cross ties you have. You know, you just walk up. And I believe this is just the staff tack room. So like the trainer saddles and boots and everything are in here. Continuing down the barn aisle. Here is the feed room. We just have, you know, their buckets of feed. I know people want me to do like a feeding routine. He's really, it's nothing special. He's just on aloe vera and some neutrina. So this is the backside of the barn. They have these huts with round bells where they just get their hay. These are the back pastures. He was in this field for a while. They've moved him now. There's some horses down there and it's just, you know, past. All right, so here is the round pen, a very round pen. So these stairs lead all the way up to the hayloft. I didn't mention this in the barn, but in the stalls, the stalls have like holes in the roof where they can just drop the hay into the stalls. First thing over here is their wash stall. I've actually never used this. I usually just use a hose. They, this is where they keep their shavings. And then of course, over here you have some tying posts. And then the barn also has like a steeple, if that's what you call it. There's pigeons in there. The pasture borders, tack rooms. There's a microwave in here. Moving on, a door down, we have another tack room. Um, you have your saddles, your tack buckets, there's shelving for buckets. All right, and then the last part of this side of the barn are the bathrooms. This is where I typically wash the you. I'll just turn on the hose real quick and give them a quick rinse. All right, and here is the main arena. It is very big, it's very nice. So the footing is just this like fine sand. It's very soft. Um, I've yet to fall off in it, but I'm sure it would be a comfortable landing. It's almost like red clay. So when it's wet outside, it really sticks to you and it kind of stains. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. Okay, and this is the trailer park. If you have a trailer, you can park your, it there. Um, there's lots of trailers, very nice looking trailers that I wish I owned, but I don't. Coming down here, you just have some more pastures. Hello. Hi. 
all the way down are just some more pastures and if you keep if you keep going all the way down this road there's a whole bunch of trails and they're such nice trails i have so much fun on them we are going to continue back towards the barn but we're going to make a left turn we have these lone stalls and there's eight stalls here's preacher oh, good boy so heading down from the stalls here is our covered arena. It's quite a bit smaller than the outdoor arena. I just like riding in here. Though the footing in here is not great. Um, it's more of like a fine gravel. I'd imagine this is a lot more painful to fall on than the outdoor arena. Raining at all, you can just come in here, trot around. They have the dressage letters all the way around. And then to the left of the covered arena, they've actually added onto it. The gate used to be down there and I, didn't even notice that they added new fencing. Then we come on to the studio. Wow, that's a good looking dude right there. So this is Theo's pasture and his is the last pasture over here. So that's my barn. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. I personally really love it here. It's so nice. Um, comment down below, what's your favorite feature at your barn? Mine is probably, I love the covered arena. If you guys have been following my channel, originally I was only planning on being here 90 days to get Theo some training. I've fallen in love with the place and hate to leave. So we're going to stick around for a while. I will see you all later. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And